Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Kingdom Death Monster. Alright, so I was doing a little research, because timeline-wise, technically we have 10 years till this final, this is essentially the final counter here, is Nemesis Encounter Watcher, but you can actually do it any time uh, within year 20 and onwards until you have to fight him. The sooner you fight him, the he won't the weaker he is. Or it is, whatever it is. Um so I'm planning on fighting him as soon as possible. After you pr probably briefly saw his uh, stat card and the biggest issue is dealing with his well, he just has really really high stats. Granted there's mechanics that will help for fighting this guy. And I think it's those mechanics I'm going to have to focus on from now on. Um, I just need to select a few of Elites to carry us to the battle. If we can get Flandra to the end, to year 20, we'll be in a lot better shape. If not, it's going to be a lot, a lot of effort by Romilia and essentially the entire settlement itself. So my focus is just getting a few resources just to do innovations. And then everything else will be devoted towards um, population. We're going to get as, mi as many people as we possibly can into this settlement before the before the inevitable happens. I've never fought the final boss before. In fact, um, like I, I usually kind of, you know, if I'm playing by myself, it's like, okay, I kind of just, you know, all right, I've had enough and I'll go do something else. And most of my groups have not been consistent enough for, to ever go this far. Um, the furthest any of my groups have gotten is the hand. So, um... I'm hoping that will change, but for right now, this will be my first attempt at possibly beating this game. And chances are it won't work, <laughs> but I want to try at least. So if if I'm going to be trying, that means I'm going to have to think risk versus reward almost. And I, as much as I would love to show off level 2 stuff and show off the Phoenix, right now I just need to get a few more people that are just, you know... Able body, especially if we lose Flandra. If we lose Flandra, it's going to be. We need to. In, well, uh, I'll have to hope that we get another Twilight Sword, because if not, it's going to get a lot harder. So, um, we're fighting a level 1 antelope, because we haven't done that in forever, and we really don't need to fight the, the cat anymore. And yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and move on up. So, Flandra's going to lead, lead the charge here, and uh, hopefully, this is not her last mission. What's worse is even if she survives the uh, the murder event, she will still be picked for future murder events. And with my luck, I'll probably get one. Anyway, 1d8, 6. Uh, monster, screaming antelope, 6. Stampede. That is... A thunderous boom approaches. The survivors may hide. If they do, move the quarry one space back. Otherwise, all survivors gain plus 1 courage, and the event reveal rolls 1d10. Let's, uh... Oh, I need to get people set up for this. My apologies. Uh, Flandra is now wearing the um, the leather set, so that does give her plus two insanity, which I should really be careful about. Um, she does get two from her, uh, from her leather, and then three from the stuff here. Yeah, so she's up to six. Um, I, uh, Oops. sorry about that. Oh, wait, she has, um, she doesn't even have any green affinities, I don't think, right now. Nope, she doesn't, so she just has her base one, so there you go. Um, she did level up, so she does get plus one evasion because of her um, green savior. Um, where is... Oh, I didn't get Momiji's character sheet. Uh, let me be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, Momiji's character sheet is up. Um, also, I also forgot to equip people with a Canthus plant, so I went ahead and did that immediately. Because um, I had two of them. It's not often I have those. All right, um, anyway, we're back to um, doing Stampede. Everyone's going to get plus one courage, because I'm going for that. So plus one 
courage, plus one courage, and plus one courage, and let's hope we don't die. Alright, 1d10. 1. Trampled. All survivors suffer uh, 2 event damage to each hit location. Okay. So, there you go. There you go. There you go. That's a pretty harsh event, to say the least. There you go. Blondra, you lose... Like, holy cow, that's uh, 10 sanity. So, here you go. You're down to 4 now. Okay, and then Aya loses two in all hit locations, and Momiji loses two in all locations. Pretty painful, not gonna lie. That hurt a lot. Okay, um, next. At least I don't have to worry about Flandre having too much insanity. Roll 1d8, 3. Grazing field. Canthus, leaves, blah blah blah. I don't have those, so just roll a random hunt event. We never even did gathering. I just kind of focused purely on just getting characters stat up. And that is that is one of the ways you can play this. So, don't consider it, like, different. Well, it is different, but... Don't be surprised by it. Dying's... Uh... We already have this. So, yeah. Uh, this is the giant small pr prospector. We already have the port close key. So, that's been taken care of. Oh, wait. Moe G wasn't even supposed to roll a antelope event. So, we'll just say that's her random event. And then I'll roll another 1d100. 91. Is that also Murder Town? The beginning. The survivors stumble upon the scene of the Sarah settlement's first hunt. Whether they've seen it themselves or heard it through stories, they immediately recognize it. Seeing the spot of their settlement first, settlement's first triumph is electrifying. Each survivor gains one plus one survival. If the settlement has an innovative saga, they get plus one courage. If we've innovated storytelling, each survivor gets one understanding. Uh, we have innovated storytelling, I believe. We have. So each of us gets one understanding. Laundry is already maxed out on survival. Aya is now maxed out on survival. And Moby G gets a survival and an understanding. Okay, not too bad. And with that, we go ahead and fight the antelope. So we'll go ahead and get that situated. We don't have a strategist anymore, but it doesn't really matter that much. Oh boy. Undo that. Undo! Undo. There we go. That's better. Alright, as always, we get a million Canthus plants. If you think we're going to be farming a bunch of them, you might be correct. But besides that, um, we need to roll for two more random. Thirteen and fourteen. Are those freaking uh Yeah, they're both giant stone faces. To be honest, I don't even care about them. <laughs> I'm not gonna even put them on the I'll put them wait, I'll put them on the board. I have to. So let's put them uh I don't know, right there. And right there, there you go, it's king size. So there's that. Clicking, so move. Thank you. Alright. Really, I'm just doing this here just so I can see if Flandre lives or dies. Because that's really the only thing that's important to me right now. <laughs> and this time I'll remember that she can't uh, just randomly dash whenever she feels like it. Okay. Give me one moment. I'll make a deck and I'll be right back. <laughs> 